Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. My brothers and sisters, in Mecca and Medina, there are places known as Al-Haram. The masjid is known as Al-Haram in Mecca. Al-Masjid Al-Haram. And in Medina, it's known as the Haram. Al-Masjid Al-Nabawi is known as the Haram. And then there is an area in the city of Mecca and the city of Medina, which is Haram from a certain place to a certain place. So the entire city is also known as the Haram city. And then when a person enters Mecca to Al-Mukarramah, they are taught to enter in the state of Ihram, which is also a Haram state. So what is intended by this term Haram? Haram actually means prohibited. So it's a prohibited city. It's a prohibited uh, condition. It's a prohibited place. And it's a prohibited mosque. What is prohibited in these things? If you take a careful look at it, there are certain things prohibited in the condition, in this masjid, in this area. That's the reason why it's called Al-Haram. And it's not a mistake. You know, people think Haram and Haram are two different things. People think Ihram and Haram are two totally different things. No, they're from the same root, referring to that which is prohibited. Because certain things that are permissible in other places are not permissible in the Haram. And certain things that are permissible uh, when you're you know, in your normal clothing without the intention of ihram are prohibited in the condition of ihram. For example, the cutting of your nails, the cutting of your hair, in the condition of ihram, applying perfume and a few other things. And when you come into the sanctity of that haram, and they call it al-haram as well, there are certain things you are not allowed to do. For example, you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't be hunting in the condition of ihram and in the haram itself you don't kill animals you don't kill uh, the sorry the insects uh, you don't go to war with someone you watch your tongue you be careful what you say what you do all this is haram because you're in a place that is supposed to be filled with peace and it's the highest level of peace everything should be at peace in that area that's the idea of this term haram that is uh, referring to the condition or the state you're in when you are going to uh, engage in the pilgrimage major or minor. Similarly, the masjid known as al-masjid al-haram or al-haram. And similarly, the place which is Mecca and Medina. The Prophet ﷺ says that these are prohibited places. So may Allah grant us a deeper understanding. I thought I'd just educate uh, and remind, inshallah. Barakallah feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.